The NHS Innovation Collaborative for Digital Health is a shared learning system helping local teams to connect, share and be inspired by each other to support people at home through technology-enabled remote monitoring. The rapid scaling of virtual wards within Greater Manchester is helping a rising number of people to be treated at a place they call home, including care homes. This is Martin's story. Well, without this technology, it wouldn't be at home and it would be worse for you because you'd be more anxious and nervous. Whereas if they let you go home with this technology, you'd be safer and you'd feel a lot happier. So a virtual ward is a means to be able to provide care for patients in their own home that they would otherwise get in a hospital setting. I just thought it would try it and it was a good idea because it was better because I was at home with the family instead of being stuck in a bed. It's not that hard to do. Once you've explained it to you and it, just, it was easy, just switch it on everything and that's it. So you knew you were all right and nothing was going to happen. They were a device and they were that every day. It'll be their heart rate, um, their oxygen levels and um, the skin temperature and the respiration and that will download via um, the dashboard every 15 minutes and we monitor the readings from the device. So it gives them that um, flexibility as well that they can still go about their daily activities and that we can like fit in with their family life as well. I was employed in the hospital, that was the worst thing. My biggest fear was Martin's mental health can be quite low sometimes. So my worry was, how's he coping? So it, if I could get him home and look after myself, then that's what I would have happily done. But I was very happy when I was given this. This enables patients to have that time back with family. They're able to take control, take back uh, control of their rehabilitation and that face-to-face -face contact gives them the reassurance. If they wasn't on our um, remote monitoring uh, virtual ward, they would be in a hospital um, and not realising these benefits. Staff have been fairly positive in their experience of uh, virtual wards and virtual care delivery. They felt very much part of um, the response to the pandemic to be able to offer something. So that has been really helpful. We're monitoring a patient more within their own home with this kit. There's massive demand for medical beds. So what we need to be able to do is to be able to free up capacity. So therefore it gives you the ability to be able to monitor a large cohort of patients and to be able to use your workforce resources quite effectively. It's just the right thing to do. Using specialist teams in a different way has enabled them to deliver more care to patients. In terms of scaling up, in, in Greater Manchester we're in an absolutely fantastic uh, position in the sense that we have 10 localities who are passionate to be able to deliver virtual care. We come together as a fortnightly collaborative group. We work and share and learn from each other and we're in a strong position to be able to move our initial work to now to a different level. So I think the fact that we've already started Started, that we have a base from which we've learnt from it will put us in good stead in terms of going forward and being able to deliver a uh, virtual care to a wider cohort of patients. Be part of the journey. Connect, share, learn and help change lives with the Innovation Collaborative for Digital Health.